Hi, my name is Alec Wenzel, and today I'm here to talk to you about the Drunk Beaver Distortion. It's a modern take on the Boss Classic, the DS1. But before we get into all the tones and everything, please like and subscribe and hit the thumbs up icon. I'm trying to grow the channel and that stuff really helps me out. I found Drunk Beaver pedals just surfing through Instagram, and what initially drew me to them was the aesthetic. Uh, cool pedals look cool, but... Uh, what made me really want to purchase this one was all the added clipping options. Uh, I can always use a boost, right? So the clean boost circuit in there uh, is a huge help. Um, and I love germanium and silicon sounds, which this had, you know, two different options for those, as well as the classic circuits in there. And there's added EQ options. Uh, there was a lot to love about this, and it seemed a little bit more versatile than just a classic distortion pedal. The Drunk Beaver Distortion boasts eight different clipping options, as well as an EQ switch to control your mids, a switch to select vintage or modern op amp, and a switch to introduce a big muff circuit. In that intro solo, I had the mids on stock, which is fairly scooped, but you have options for less scooped and then a flat EQ. I was on the vintage op amp, and I did not have the big muff circuit introduced. And now we're gonna to get to some sounds. We're gonna go through all eight clipping options on the Drunk Beaver Distortion, and we're gonna keep things relatively the same as far as settings go from what I used on the intro solo just for some consistency. I had to write down those eight clipping options, but the eight clipping options are silicon, MOSFET, 1N4001, which is another type of silicon clipping, germanium clipping, a 94 version of the DS1, the LED clipping option of the DS1, a uh, 78 version of the DS1, and then the DS1 as a boost. Like I said a second ago, we're gonna keep the settings relatively the same. I was on the vintage op amp, I had stock mids, volume is at about nine o'clock, tone is at about nine o'clock, and the distortion setting is at about three o'clock. This pedal is very loud and very bright. Some of these clipping options have different volumes, and so I may make small adjustments to the volume, but that'll all be on camera. All right, now let's hear the pedal. Um, here's my clean tone. So that's just a little bit of tape delay from the Empress Echo system running into my McClostone Princeton reverb. We're gonna start on the silicone setting on the Drunk Beaver distortion, and we're gonna work our way backwards through the rotary dial. Uh, I like how clean and focused that is with the mid scoop. All right, next on to MOSFET. MOSFET feels a little chewier, which is nice. The 1N4001 silicon clipping. As we're sort of starting to see, uh, it's still a DS1 circuit, you know? Clipping can make things a little bit different in terms of EQ or overall tone, but you know, it's still gonna sound relatively the same. Here's moving on to germanium. The distortion's a little bit less aggressive on the germanium. All right, here's our 94 version of the DS1. That one's probably my second favorite. I love what you get on the tail end of those notes. It feels a little bit more pointed.
All right, here is the LED, and you're going to notice a massive volume difference. Ooh, and we are already clipping. I'm going to take the volume down. Let's see if that fixed it. I feel like I get slightly less sustain, but overall still a great sound. Here's our 78. Ah, and that massive volume drop, so we're going to add volume back. All right, and finally, we're going to hear it as a clean boost. And a ton of volume again. We're going to pull the volume back. Ah, we're still clipping. A little bit less volume. This is similar to the LED clipping and its volume boost. Um, it's not an unusable amount of volume, but this is probably not the way you would use that setting, and I'm going to kind of adjust for that right now. We're going to take the distortion way back, um, and we're going to see if we can increase the volume a bit. Oh, and we're still, we're still clipping. So as we can hear with that uh, that big clean boost, um, it's just a boost <laughs> with distortion. It sounds fairly open to me, um, which is awesome. But you know, again, ton of volume. All right, now for this last little bit, we are going to introduce the big muff circuit on the original seventy eight version. Here's that big muff sound. Ooh, we lost a lot of volume there, so I'm gonna add some volume and the distortion back. Sounds like angry bees. Um, sounds great though. It's it's a lot of fun. Big muffs are not my favorite fuzz, but it's always exciting when you can cram a little bit more into a pedal. And that was the Drunk Beaver Distortion, a modern take on the DS1. All those clipping options give you a ton of tonal characteristics to play with, which makes it an awesome choice for use in the studio. One thing I'd caveat that with though is making sure you watch out for that volume knob. There's a ton of volume on tap, and it didn't take much for me to be blowing out my track in Logic just by moving through the clipping options. And as you saw, little motions on that knob made a huge difference. However, this makes it awesome for use with smaller amplifiers because you could really push the front end and get a ton of natural distortion out of them. Thank you so much for listening. Again, please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. It'll really help me out as I'm trying to grow the channel. And I hope to see you guys back here again to talk about more pedals. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys later.